Good morning, West Creek Stampers. This is Kay. Uh, it's Tuesday, March 30th, and uh, tomorrow, March 31st, is the last day to, to um, enter the March Challenge contest on West Creek Stampers. It's also the last day to sign up for this swap for April. Um, I still need a few more people, so let me know if you've decided to do that. Um, this catalog now has retiring items. Our annual catalog, but it is active until May 3rd. I will be able to order the new catalogs for you on April 1st. And... Uh, some of these items uh, will sell out, so if there's anything that you uh, want to get out of this catalog, now is the time. Um, I think some of the in-color items have already sold out. So um, there is a video and a list posted on this page on West Creek Stampers that goes through the catalog to let you know what is leaving. I, um, today I want to show you how to make a slimline ice cream cone card. And, um, I have had this laying out here for a while to show you. So the first thing is cutting your base for the cardstock. And I want to show you how to do that. The base is eight and a half by seven. So our standard cardstock is eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna um, leave the eight and a half side alone and we're gonna cut seven inches. And of course this is turned around the wrong direction. And whoops, whoopsie, whoopsie. Okay, here we go. So this is really, really easy. Just cut off seven inches and it is seven by eight and a half for the base okay and then your card is three and a half inches wide and you're going to fold it this direction just like this Okay, I have some of this card done for you. So if you want to use a, um, a colored cardstock, that piece is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I've chosen Calypso Coral. So that goes down here on top of your card base. The thing that I like about this size card is it fits right in a, I call it a business envelope, one of these, or a letter envelope. It fits right in there and uh, mails with a regular stamp. Okay, our next layer that I used is white, and that layer is eight by three. <laughs> so I have used the ice cream um, printed paper and I started down here pretty close to the bottom. I punched these out. I did no stamping for this part. I punched these out of the ice cream paper. And you can always use dimensionals on any of these pieces. I did on a few. Whoops. I am making a mess. Okay. So then you put your ice cream cones. And I tried to um, vary those by colors. I have a couple more over here. So I just cut these randomly or punch these randomly out of the paper. Now I had one, two, 
three, four, five. I have six there. I had another one, but I don't think I'm going to use that one. Um, on my original one, I stamped something from um, the donkey. But I'm going to use this from Many Messages. Just wanted to say, because I happen to have some of those already. And then I put a few drips on my card, my original one that I made. And I'm going to fasten those... Um, those ice creams down a little bit. I'm, I, you know how to do that, so I'm not going to waste time with that. There's a Calypso Coral drip. If I had an ice cream cone that high, I know it would be dripping. And I'm going to put a Blackberry Bliss one right here. And... Let's see, I should have another one that color. I have my Bermuda Bay out here, and I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, so I wanted to make this a thank you card, and what I did was stamp the thank you on scrap paper. And then I just cut that out. Those words, this thank you does come from the um, sweet ice cream stamp set. And let's see if I can make that smooth around there if it gets too close there you could always um punt, uh, stamp two of these and then it doesn't let you a lot of room between the words to cut it out but i think it's gonna work out i'm gonna cut this a little bit closer You can do this with any stamp set that you have. You could use it with some designer series paper. And then I'm going to take my Stampin' Dimensionals and make this a thank you card. I, I use a fair amount of thank you cards. And there you go. The other thing that you can do with this is add some of the um, sprinkles. These are the ice cream corner sprinkles. And for this, I use those little um, glue dots that come with your um, paper pumpkins. They're nice for this kind of thing. Or, well, shall we put that and put one there? Um, or you can use your fine tip glue pen, but I like to use these. The fine tip glue pen and I don't really get along well together. Um, I'm going to put one right here, and then I'm going to put one more, and let's see if I can get a hold of that. They aren't so easy to get a hold of, but this um, multi-purpose tool does help with that, so I'm going to put that one right there. So there you go. There's a nice thank you card, and it fits in a regular envelope. So I did also want to remind you that next week is my monthly card class. And 
Tuesday afternoon, I have one opening now Tuesday morning that was full, and then I had a couple people that needed to change their schedules. So I do have one on Tuesday morning. My Tuesday afternoon class is full. This is Tuesday, April 6th, and Thursday, April 8th. Um, so those are what we're looking at. Um, I have Thursday afternoon is wide open. That's April 8th. I have a couple openings Thursday morning at 10. And uh, both evening classes have some openings. So I'm going to let you go. If you have any questions about anything or if you'd like those dimensions for this card, um, let me know. And have a wonderful day.